If your child is missing lots of assignments, you're not alone. Many kids with executive function challenges struggle to keep up with their peers in school. This might look like missing assignments, being afraid to communicate with their teachers, feeling overwhelmed, you might start to nag them, and so on and so forth. So here's what you can do as a parent or executive function coach to help your student with those missing assignments. But first, why do kids have missing assignments? Well, many parents and educators have the false belief that kids have missing assignments because they're lazy or don't care or are just overwhelmed. But the truth is they're struggling with their executive function skills. So what are executive function skills? Executive function skills include planning, organization, self-management, inhibition, time management, initiation of difficult tasks, visualizing outcomes, and being able to evaluate priorities. And kids with ADHD and autism, traumatic brain injury, or other learning disabilities often really struggle with these executive function skills. So what mistakes do parents and educators make when kids are missing assignments? Well, the first biggest mistake they make is they say things like, just try harder, when in fact it's not an issue of effort, it's an issue of a lack of executive function skills. The second biggest mistake that parents and educators make when kids are missing assignments is they do the drive-by support method. And this is where they'll give a lot of attention and support for a little bit, but then back off too quickly, and then the student doesn't develop these skills without support. The third biggest mistake is not providing any support at all and saying things like, you need to pick yourself up by your bootstraps, when kids need support and guidance in order to develop these skills. So some people say, oh, my child should just know how to do this, they're in high school. But if no one teaches them, they will never learn and it will only get worse as they get older and the demands of life become more and more challenging. So what happens if you don't help your child with their executive function skills? Well, research shows adults with poorer executive function skills commit more crimes, earn less money, and end up having more divorces than those with better executive function skills. So teaching these skills not only improves their educational experience, but also their overall quality of life. So here's how you can end the missing assignments and ensure your child has the best semester yet. The most important step you can take is to help your child create a student dashboard, a place where they can identify all their upcoming and missing assignments if that's the case. Now I've got a copy of this for free that you can download and I'll show you how you can get to it. So if you go to efspecialist.com and you go to tools, printables, and then you scroll down here to the student dashboard digital planner template, you can download this for free. Now once you download it, make sure to upload it to your child's Google Drive or open it as an Excel file. I recommend opening it in your Google Drive and then clicking share and sharing it with your child so you can both look at it or any other guardians or tutors or coaches that are working with your student. Here's how you can do that. You click this little share button in the upper right corner and then you share with anybody else who wants to be able to have access to this and look at it with your child. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you open the student dashboard is you wanna sit down with your student and have them add in all their upcoming and missing assignments to this so they can get clear on everything they need to do. So this might look like you click on one of these cells and you type in what they need to do. Homework number three for math, right? You can also just go into Canvas, Google Classroom, or Schoology, wherever their assignments are housed, copy and paste the title and paste it. Another thing you can do is you can take the link to the assignment and paste it here so that it's easy for them to click on that and access it. Now this step alone has an incredible impact on students because it raises their self-awareness. Once they can see all their upcoming and missing assignments in one place, then they can start to take action and prioritize what they should start with. Now step two is that from all these upcoming and missing assignments, they should prioritize what they should start with. So one way I go about this with students is I say, which class has the lowest grade? They'll log into their portals, identify which class has the lowest grade. Then I say, in that class, which assignment has the greatest point value? So they can identify, okay, I have a D in math, and this assignment in math is worth 50 points more than anything else, so I should start with that. So what you're gonna wanna do on the spreadsheet is for example, let's just say this homework number two in math has, is worth 50 points. It's the most valuable and they have the lowest grade. You can hover over that little row and then drag it up at the top to make it the number one priority. Just that act alone is very powerful. But there's still one more thing you should do with your student before you get to work on that assignment. And that is email their teacher to confirm you can still get credit on it. Because oftentimes these assignments are late and some teachers aren't gonna be flexible with turning late things in. Now, if your child has an IEP or a 504 plan, 
make sure to leverage the accommodations or modifications in that plan to allow them to get credit on these things. So what you would do here is you'd actually click on this other tab here, teacher contact info. So once you click on this tab, then you wanna put all the teacher's names in. You can do this with your student and you can click on the name and you can just quickly send an email to that teacher by just clicking here. This makes things much easier. So while you're waiting, you might wanna get started on another assignment that might be upcoming that you know you can still turn in for credit. So this process alone can have a huge impact on students, but let's take it up another notch by helping your student communicate more effectively with their teachers. So here's how you can do that. On the spreadsheet, you can go over to key info and in there, I've included something called templates for communicating with teachers and adults. So I'm gonna click on this and open it up. And I've developed a list of templates that you can use with your student to overcome even the most challenging scenarios. The first one I'd like to show you is the missing assignments example. So I'm gonna go over here, and this document actually, I've turned it into a header, so you can just click on that and go down to missing assignments. And so if you highlight this, you can use this message, I'll just read it off to you. So, hi teacher, I noticed my grade in your class is currently a D. They put in whatever grade they have. This shows self-awareness. I want to send a friendly reminder that I turned in blank name of assignment. I'm also attaching it to this email for your review. I also noticed my grades on the following assignments are, they can put in the assignment name and grade. Is there anything I can do to make up these assignments as my goal for the semester is to earn a put the grade they want again in your class. This is part of my PING methodology, which stands for P, have a pleasant introduction, I, inform and inquire, N, negotiate a solution, and G, end with gratitude. And when students start to get in communication with their teachers, it's amazing how the teachers respond and will start to support them. So now your student has a list of all their upcoming missing assignments. They know how to prioritize because they're putting the point values and checking their grades. Over here, they've got this key info tab where they have these email templates for their teachers. They've got their teacher's emails in that section so they can quickly communicate with them. What else can you do to ensure they don't have missing assignments? Well, one thing I've noticed is that many students actually get locked out of their portals and struggle to keep up. So one thing you can do is you go over to this key info tab and have them put in the link to their, for example, Google Classroom here, their username and their password. Just this step alone can make it easier for kids to log into their email, to their portals so they can quickly follow up with their teachers. So in conclusion, here's how you can help your student reduce their number of missing assignments and get back on track. One, download a free student dashboard template or just list out all their upcoming and missing assignments along with the point values for those things so they know what to prioritize. Two, put their teacher emails all in one place. You can do this with your student so they can quickly communicate with their teachers to problem solve. And three, put their usernames, passwords, and site logins in one place so they can quickly log into those portals and check on their upcoming and missing assignments without getting locked out and feeling overwhelmed. If you do these things, I guarantee your student will reduce their missing assignments and start to manage things more effectively. And if you want a bunch of free resources on how to implement this, check out the links in the bio so you can dive deeper with this topic. Hope this helps and see you in the next video.